So to address how I might be inclined to use NAB paclitaxel in patients with non-squamous histology, I certainly was particularly impressed with the activity of NAB paclitaxel in a squamous population in Dr. Sosinski's randomized trial of carbo paclitaxel versus carbo and NAB paclitaxel. But that trial also showed certainly respectable activity of this agent uh, in, of, in the entire population, and particular activity in the elderly patients, in whom the median survival was actually 19 months, which is remarkable. I don't know that that's truly reproducible, but if it were anything even in that ballpark, it would be a meaningful benefit for our patients. And we shouldn't forget that the median age of a newly diagnosed patient with lung cancer is now 71. So half of our patients, if not more, who are coming in are well within that elderly range. Because of that, it is certainly something I'm inclined to consider very carefully for my older patients and, and even a broader population because many people have a lot of difficulty tolerating docetaxel, which is a well-established taxane, but also one that we will often have trepidation about giving because it, it is not always well tolerated and many patients find the treatment worse than the disease in that setting. So having a taxane that has activity and certainly a promising uh, lead of utility in at least the older patients as being uniquely effective and probably also a strong choice for, for younger patients as well. It's one that I will certainly be inclined to uh, consider. We actually are doing a trial with, uh, pe with uh, NAB paclitaxel in the elderly population and it's, it's remarkably appealing to be able to offer them this option uh, as part of a trial so that we can generate more information about it while also uh, giving them this, this option freely. I would have to say that most of my patients are not on it for long enough to have tremendous problems with neuropathy. It's, it is an issue. It's probably the leading cumulative toxicity, although in some older patients, fatigue and low blood counts can also be an issue. But uh, yes, it's, it's a challenge. But in our patients who have advanced lung cancer, they really tend to be inclined to persevere with some of the more nuisance side effects. I have really rarely actually seen grade three neuropathy. It's really been more in the mild to moderate uh, level. And uh, at the same time, th when we get to that point, we are often reaching a point of diminishing returns in the efficacy. So I think it's a very attractive option to pursue NAB paclitaxel really often until you reach a point where the cumulative toxicity is becoming problematic, and by then, you're often exhausting the benefit. I have a couple of patients in whom I've stopped and started it because they've had phenomenal results, may experience increasing toxicities in the form of fatigue, uh, neuropathy, as well as cytopenias, and then I've given them a break from it and then come back to it months later and, and had them enjoy benefits from it subsequently.